Hello, you visually literate icons of the internet, and welcome back to Riley Photos, the one place where we not only capture moments, but also gently roast them over a bed of artisanal, gluten-free, non-GMO, and probably overpriced kindling. Ooh, that's more like it. Today we're diving into the depths of the abyss of photography trends that should have gone by for like five Instagram updates ago. You know the ones I mean, right? <laughs> We've all seen them. Now, sarcasm mode on. Here we go. First up, the infamous I'm holding the sun pose. Yes, every once in a blue moon, which is actually every other Tuesday if your feed is anything like mine, uh, we photographers become the modern day atlas, except instead of holding up the entire earth, it's just the sun. And of course, we're not straining at all. It's the perfect blend of whimsy and wonder, isn't it? I mean, not at all cliched or played out. No, 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 very genuine. Next up, we've got the urban explorer shots. Broken windows, maybe decrepit walls. You, standing there looking well, lost. L let me be clearer. Unless you're a professional urbaner or Batman, Maybe leave the abandoned warehouse alone. Uh, now you might say, eh, but it's edgy. Edgy, you know what I mean? <laughs> More like an excellent opportunity to update your tetanus shot. Ah, and how could we forget the selective colour? Nothing screams art quite like a black and white photo with a single red balloon. How deep and meaningful is that? How original, how utterly reminiscent of well, every beginner that's first looked at Photoshop. But wait, there is actually more. The classic shallow depth of field portrait, where the nose is sharp, but the eyes are, well, in a different dimension altogether. If you just wanted a shot of a sharp nose, then congratulations, mission accomplished. But, well, the last time I checked, most people prefer their entire face in focus. And for our final act, we witnessed the death of creativity through an endless sea of lens flare. Because why not blind your audience while you're at it? Remember friends, just because JJ Abrahams can pull it off doesn't mean your pet's portrait should look like it's signaling aliens for a pickup. All right, folks, that's the wrap up of trends that in my opinion should be as dead as my will to shoot another milk bath maternity session. But hey, don't feel bad if you've committed these photographic faux pas. We all have. It's part of the journey. A hilarious part of the journey, but nevertheless, still the embarrassing journey. You have to do it. It's a rite of passage. Seriously though, art is subjective and photography is all about capturing the world through your unique perspective. Embrace your own style. Keep shooting, keep experimenting, and most of all, keep learning. And if you managed to get a chuckle or two out of that, hit the like button, would you? <laughs> Smash subscribe if you want to, and drop a comment below to suggest the next trend that should be gently escorted into the Photography Room 101. So until next time, keep your batteries charged and your memory cards empty.